Good morning, family. How is everyone? Checking on everybody today. See how everyone is getting on with all this that's happening. You know, everyone is, um, I can tell, because I look at other people's videos on YouTube, and I can tell in the comments of what people are saying. Uh, I've heard people say that they're just plain scared right now. Um, and that's even in the United States. The new scriptures study that I've just been giving me has been talking about finding that rest in him. Okay. And so I wanted to come and talk to you guys about that today because I care. I know you guys, I feel it too. Okay. The stress and the pressure of this time. And it seems like we're just waiting on everything to go south right away. And the unknown scares people because we fear the things we don't know until we work on our faith. And it's a normal thing. I know a lot of you are, are having your sleep disrupted right now. I also have been having that happen. This morning I was awake till almost 5 a.m. Could not sleep. So I always wonder what's stirring, what's afoot when that happens. But that's just the way it is for me. Um, it's it's a t it's an intense time because we're not sure whether this mess that's over there and what's embedded here, we're not sure if that's going to go off, you know, and I understand that. But understand that in warfare, it's a tactic of the adversary to take your peace, to be able to cripple the joy of Father in you. Because without joy, people lose hope, and they lose faith, and they give way to fear. And that's, that's the tactic that they use. And in spiritual warfare, you can gauge what's coming at you by the fruit that you feel inside. Because their names are what they do, okay? Whichever demonic that's coming against you, their names are what they do. So you can identify that, muzzle that, and rebuke it, okay? Find it, rebuke it. I'm kind of surprised that when I offered the spiritual warfare training there was only three who stepped up and were requesting information and wanting to know praise be to father for you sisters who have have done this and I'll be communicating with you And one wanted to know about the armor, which I am ecstatic about that. That makes me real happy because that armor is a big deal. It's very powerful. So I might just go out and teach that armor um, on a video in itself, by itself, to offer here for everyone because it's important, if nothing else, 
you guys learn about the armor and can apply it and put it on every day and oil up every day, that is good defense. If you can't fight or don't want to fight, at least you can have something to defend yourself. Okay, so I'm kind of rolling that idea around in my head, seeing, you know, I'm waiting to see what Father has to say, but I think it's kind of necessary, but we'll see. The Hebrews reading, you know, moving on from that, talks about Sabbath. And the Sabbath is, is a place. It's a, a relationship. It's a lot of things. But it is actually being able to rest in Father, even in turbulent times. And I think that that is very timely what he gave because of what's to come. Okay. To kind of teach us how to do that now. So that when these other events happen and those kind of things, we'll be able to be at rest in him, in that water. Okay. And so, you know, I'm kind of, I wanted to check on everybody today. I'm, how are you doing? How is this affecting you? I want to know. And I may do, I don't know if any of you will show up, but I may try to do a live prayer session together with everyone. I know some of you are in other countries. It's, it's hard to make the, the um, difference in time match up to where you guys are not getting up in the middle of the night or something to try to join that. It makes it hard. But I might, I'm kind of either way on it, whether to just do it in a video, a pray along video, like I did the pray Daniel nine with me video which I never got no response on, <laughs> but it's there for future, future use and future reference. Because um, <coughs> we need to be crying out to Father right now. We need to be getting real close to him. We need to bust out of this, this rut that the adversary has had all of us in. You know, i I've been fighting my way through that too for a while. So I know that it ain't just me. It's, I know the body as a whole is, is suffering with that. And I talk to other pastors too, a lot across the United States and, uh, they're telling me that even their folks are having trouble right now. So, you know, I guess I'm saying this to let you know that you're not alone. It's not just you going through it. The whole body's suffering it. And as you can see, the suffering of barrages of things in the world and movements against what is right and what is good, the rest of humanity is suffering. They're just suffering it in a different capacity of what we're suffering spiritually. But I will say also that I want you guys to kind of stock up some extra food, water, toilet paper, canned goods, dry goods, and all that in your homes because we could be facing a situation where we're going to have to stay in and also alternate heat sources, okay, because winter is coming to some of us. Some are going to be going through summer where you're at in your location. So you're going to have to 
figure out a way to keep cool. And if you have pets, don't forget to put some extra stuff away for them as well because they count on us. They rely on us to take care of them. I've got six pets here at the moment. Two of them, well, three of them. I dog sit, except the one little dog is with, with her owner right now, but by and large, mostly, she's with me during the week. So I, I keep her in mind, too, on this. So three of them are mine, and three of them belong to other people. And I think the other two, after pet sitting them faithfully for two years, finally, they're going to be going back to their owners. <laughs> Thankfully for that. And, uh, but the, these are things, and, and when my parrot was still alive, which she just passed away in May, I had, um, bird seed and stuff back sealed and put away for her. So, and I miss her. I had her for eight years and she got pneumonia and got sick and died. So that, that was hard, but at any rate my my worry of keeping her going and protected in times to come was real heavy on me because birds are fragile so with these recommendations you guys i just want to say you know kind of kind of look at that because i've i've been saying that i've been hearing since 2018 to make the physical preparations because he'll multiply what you have. You know, like the fishes and the loaves and all that. You know, think about medical things and hygiene, how you're going to get clean, how you're going to, you know, because you have to have clean clothing too, right? So you want to you wanna look at that situation. You know, I hear a lot of the preppers, they talk about gold and silver. So if you do that, you know, um, I think that barter items, food and those kind of things would be better to stock up on because as we found out <coughs> in the 2024 combination of events video that there's even going to be a bit of a problem with that gold and silver. But if you want to do that, then that's, that's perfectly okay. There's a lot going to be going on. And I know that what I'm telling you doesn't set your mind at ease. Huh? You know, um, just trying to keep reality in perspective for you father's been warning us about that so my counsel to you today is to learn how to find rest in yeshua how to have that sabbath relationship with him as a lifestyle because the scripture says he's the lord or the adonai of the sabbath and so as i'm rooting through the study in hebrews where he talks about that so that i can bring that when i'm finished with it i worked on it for quite a bit yesterday digging and rooting and finding answers in the language study. There's a lot. It, it takes that scripture. <coughs> Pardon me, you guys. If you wonder why I cough all the time, I have allergies. So, <laughs> um, But it takes like a small amount of scripture and it blows it wide open if, if you study the language on it. And the disciples here have been taught how to do that. And they don't like to have to do it at first, but eventually 
they love learn to love it as much as I do because of what it shows them. So they study like that here. I've taught them how to do that because the Ruach taught me how to study that way. And I've been doing it that way for 30 years. Give or take. So that's why I say study. Don't just read. Because you find the answers. And I think that that is, is the biggest part of why people are having a hard time coping with things right now because they just don't have answers. And I understand that, okay? Um, but the answers are in Father. The answers are in Yeshua. And sitting at His feet and learning. And so, but we right now our focus is to find that rest in Yeshua. And to build on that and make that a, a, a way of life. So that these things that are troubling us, it's very troubling what's happening over there. And what could happen in each country that's not over there. You know, we don't even know if they're going to do the big mushroom boom. You know, we're, we're not sure of that either. Except I saw one of those rockets in a dream. And that's, that's what's got me disturbed. So, you know, I saw that St. Two missile come in. Isn't that interesting? They named it that. St. Two, double portion. <laughs> not good. And I don't say these things to scare anybody. I'm trying to get you prepared. We prepare ourselves in the Father. Just like Noah did when catastrophic calamity or whatever was going to come his way, right? You know, he prepared. He kept his ear tuned to the Father and he set about doing what Father said to do. And they were preserved and protected, see? So that's what we need to do also. We need to find our peace and our rest in Him. So I'm going to put the, the scripture reading that I'm working on right now in the description. And then when I get through the, the word study of it, and the Father releases me to come and talk to you about it and, and expand it for you. Then I'll be doing that. In the meantime, I'm going to be rolling around the idea of putting the armor teaching here. I'm just trying to avoid that, that darn algorithm. <laughs> because of I don't want to lose this platform. It's the only one I have. I refuse to be on Facebook. I refuse to be on Instagram or any other social media. So, and even this one is iffy, you know, but I have to do something to get the word out. So, anyway, that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about. You know, read over the scriptures that I put in the description. Try to learn to root them out with a strong concordance that's key to the King James Version. If that's, you know, whatever concordance you use, make sure that it matches the Bible you use. Okay, because they're all different. And uh, if you have an interlinear text, that's even better yet. But anyway, so you guys just set yourself toward the Father and, and stay there. Get close to Him, okay? And um, put in the comments how you're doing, you know, because I'm going to be praying for everyone here. But I need to get a pulse and see who's feeling what so that I can more effectively pray, okay? So 
anyway, that's it, you guys. I love you much. I will bless and keep you. Keep his hand sheltered over you. And nestle close to his heart. Okay? And I, I speak that upon you right now. In Yeshua HaMashiach's mighty name. Okay? Till next time. Okay? Bye-bye.